Welcome to this Desk Proto tutorial video. It's on roughing and finishing. First of all, what is roughing and finishing? Basically, it's machining your complete part twice. First, you machine the part with a thick cutter and with a large distance between the tool path in order to quickly remove as much material as possible. That stage is called the roughing. After that you again machine the complete part but now with a thinner cutter and with a much smaller distance between the tool path in order to accurately machine all details and get a very smooth resulting surface. That second stage is called the finishing. Why uh, use roughing and finishing? Why use two stages? Okay, first of all uh, using roughing so going down in separate layers might be needed because your part is too high for the cutting length of your cutter so your cutter cannot just remove all material in one go it has to go slowly uh, down in layers second reason is that roughing and finishing might be quicker than doing all in a finishing stage we can explain that later and the third reason is that using roughing and finishing will result in a better surface quality of the resulting part will uh, indicate later why okay let me show you how it works in desk pro i will use the familiar perfume bottle here it is i'll just quickly orientate it which means a rotation of 90 degrees around x and here it is the segment set to upper half only here i have my bottle that i want to machine i want to do so using a bit small cutter to clearly demonstrate you what happens a three millimeter ball nose just set any toolpath distance for now and calculate the toolpath here we are already some automatic roughing functionality has been applied by Desproto. you see the cutter goes down to this C level removes all material there and when that's finished it goes back to the start goes down to the second level and starts machining the second layer that's done automatically by desk proto it knows i have selected the cutter three millimeter ball nose in this case with a certain cutting length and for the first operation of a part desk proto refuses the cutter to go deeper into the block of material than the cutting length which does obviously makes sense only for the first operation of a part so that's the automatic uh, roughing functionality but we want to fine-tune that uh, we want to do roughing and finishing and the way to do so in Desproto is to create two different operations here I have my part I want two operations in the tree the first one will be the roughing operation second one will be the finishing operation well, adding a part is easy. Right mouse button in the context menu, I select Add Operation. Here I have my two operations. This one is the second, I'll call it Finishing. Yes, and the first one, I'll just double click to rename it, which is possible as well. I will call that Roughing. Okay, that will be the roughing operation, so I need to go to the roughing parameters. Basically, two parameters are present, the skin and the layer height. The skin is a concept that is already explained by the picture. When roughing, the part is left a bit too large. It's machined a bit too large. The skin of material is left all around the object. The idea is that roughing is done uh, in large steps. The cutter needs to remove much material so as said it will be vibrating and all damages done by the vibrations are now in the skin only not in the actual part and later in the second operation the finishing operation the skin can be removed and as the cutter w needs to remove a little material only it will move very smoothly resulting in a smooth surface quality for this bottle i'll set it to a half millimeter so 0 0.5 skin thickness oh back again and the second is the layer height this is a layer a set uh, Desproto will not allow the cutter to sink deeper than the cutting length of the cutter so here the automatic layer height is set to the cutting length of the cutter which for this cutter is 10 millimeter say I have a 
difficult to machine material. 10 millimeter is too much for this cutter. I want to reduce that to 5 millimeter. And when I now say OK, the skin and the layer height will be applied. And here I have one more layer available. But obviously, I said roughing needs to be done in large steps. So the last thing I want to change is the distance between the toolpath and the step size along. I set them the same at a large distance. So this is a way to quickly remove all material. You can see